Hello, my name is uh, Rasmus Bro, uh, and I would like to give a short demonstration of our most recent version of the Paradise software, uh, version 3.8.8. You can find it on our website, models.life.ku.dk slash paradise. And notice that there are two versions. There's 3.8.8, which will only import masses up to 300, or you can go, uh, download version 387, which will down, uh, which will import masses up to uh, 3000. Uh, but that might actually lead to memory problems sometimes. So in case you don't need it, we suggest that you use the version 388. <coughs> well, once you have downloaded the software and installed, uh, you're ready to go. And this is what the software looks like. Now we start by importing data which could be either CDF uh, files uh, from the software or in case you already loaded the imported the data once you can actually just load the data as a so-called MAT file which is a MATLAB file and that's usually faster I have a data set here and I can load the whole data set uh, very easily uh, I have all the samples uh, on the left side here and I can look at individual ones or several ones as I uh, see fit uh, and I can also uh, do different things like doing some alignment of my data in case I have problems uh, sort of uh, with retention time shifts. Now let me zoom in a little bit. In this particular data set we don't really have uh, much problems with uh, alignment now you can see that there is some misalignment, but that's no problem uh, for the uh, model. Uh, the main reason for doing alignment is that uh, we can use it to make it easier to identify where the compounds are. So for example here we see that clearly uh, this is one peak and it's fairly well defined. So there's no need for um, alignment here. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Once we are happy uh, with the data, what we have to do is that we have to define all the intervals that we want to look at. And we simply have to go through the data little by little. So I say select and then I can start selecting intervals. And notice that there are actually maybe some peaks here. So maybe I would like to have a look at those. Maybe there's also one here. Oops. Oh. I'm going to start over. And here and here. These are very small ones, but it's interesting to see if, uh, if they really have some chemical information. They would probably be hard to get otherwise. Let me move on a little bit. Now, when you define the intervals, you sort of make life easier for yourself if you make them as narrow as possible. Now, there might be a little peak here on the shoulder, and hopefully we're able to recover that from this interval. But we can also do several intervals and then select the ones afterwards, which is giving us the nicest representation. So, let me just do this one, but I could also do one of this peak only and one of the other peak only. And we'll see. Now in reality we have to go through all the different intervals, but I'm not going to do that here. Uh, so I'm going to skip the rest of this. We have the list of our intervals here. We are able to delete intervals if we want, but uh, I have to warn that that functionality sometimes uh, gives some problems. So the less you fiddle with this, uh, the easier life will be in general. Now we basically have to run a model, a Parafact 2 model on each of these intervals. There are some options here. Since my peaks are fairly simple, I don't expect that there will be many chemical compounds in each uh, interval. So going from 1 to 7 is perfectly fine. And 2000 iterations is also nice. 
I do want to impose non-negativity, so I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to uh, start the uh, uh, Perfect 2 modeling. I first have to select a folder. I'll just so, uh, use this one, and this is where all the results are going to be saved. And now you can uh, go grab a coffee because this is going to take a while. Um, so we will take a short break and then we'll continue once it's done. <laughs>